All right, so when you're shoveling snow in your driveway, I happen to have some here today, uh, I'm gonna give you a couple tips on what you need to do to have this go well. Sometimes it doesn't go well. As a physical therapist, we see lots of people that come into our offices after we have this much snow with some problems. So my goal is to make sure you don't have those problems. The first section is preparing to shovel snow. Now, I sound, this sounds very unexciting, uh, but we have to prepare to shovel snow. So, you're gonna hydrate, right? Big bottle of water. Make sure that you have that, you carry that with you. Keep hydrated. What'll happen is you'll be drinking all this water and uh, you'll feel like, man, should I have to go to the bathroom? Your body is using that water in the process of shoveling the snow. Number two, make sure you got some calories on board. So, uh, it, it, you gotta get some food in you because this is very calorie dense. Guys, I did this whole driveway yesterday and I have a tracking tool that measures my calories. I burned 4,000 calories just shoveling snow. Okay, so you gotta make sure you got calories on board. Number three, make sure you're doing movement prep. Again, not like the most fun thing to do, but before you do an activity, especially an activity you haven't done in a while, you wanna make sure your body's prepared to do that. That could be just taking a simple walk. So if you have a treadmill inside, right now you cannot even walk anywhere in my driveway because there's four feet of snow down there. But if you have a treadmill inside, getting on a bike, increasing your heart rate for about 10 minutes is something you can do to increase blood flow to all the areas you're gonna use. Specific spine um, movement prep, would be rotations because you're going to be doing some rotation while you do this even though i'm going to tell you uh, to try to avoid that as much as you can it's unavoidable you're going to be doing some rotation so just grabbing your shovel hey out in front of you and then keeping your feet planted knees bent just rotating all the way over to the side right and left going all the way over so 10 to 15 repetitions there okay so a simple bend right so bending forward from the hips not from your back and making sure that your hips are warmed up and ready to go. Okay, doing a couple lunges. So split stance, squats down and back up, down and back up. Same thing on the other side, switch down and back up. Again, 10 to 15 reps of that, it takes a couple minutes. I promise you it's worth the investment. Also, last thing, Make sure you are cardiovascularly fit for this activity. So if you know anybody that works at an ER, you know on days like today, there's gonna to be a lot of heart attacks that show up to the ER because using your upper extremities to do an activity, especially, you know, most people are not doing a physical labor job anymore. If this is something new and your heart isn't used to that, problems can occur, okay? So make sure that you're getting your regular checkups with your uh, cardiovascular doctors and your team to make sure that everything is okay, especially as you get older, you're just at a higher risk for having problems with shoveling snow. So make sure you are fit to do this uh, to make sure that uh, you actually survive your bout of show, snow shoveling. All right, in the next video, I'm gonna show you some techniques that you can use to make snow shoveling uh, as easy as possible.